Welcome to the Open Shop Pink Couch. Now, Michael, with your experience on the retail side, and we're not talking travel, the Bay, mm -hmm. Saks Fifth Avenue, yes. a whole different world. And I'm so curious to know, now that you're at Travel Edge, what kinds of things from that side of mm -hmm. retail are you bringing to bear on the travel side of retail? You know, it's such a great question. Um, really, it comes down to the power of the advisor. In retail, the sales associate's job is to understand their client's needs and to provide solutions that exceed their expectations. Very similar approach in travel. And having been um, with Travel Edge now for a very short period of time, yeah. I've spent as much time as I could, uh, can meeting with advisors across the network. Right. I've met with dozens of them. Which is and, very smart. And, and, and it's just so interesting, the intelligence that you glean from listening. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm so impressed with their focus on the client mm -hmm. and our role as travel leaders as opposed to retail leaders mm -hmm. is very similar. Providing our um, advisors with tools they need to drive their businesses. I just, I always think of the merchandising aspect of mm -hmm. it, which, which for travel is of course a lot more challenging. It's not like you're walking in to a space where there's a beautiful dress mm -hmm. and suddenly, you know, you want to know about that dress. How do you get the agent to think, or get the consumer rather, when they're with the agent to think in those aspirational terms? Oh, that's a great question. I think it's very much around the advisor's ability to demonstrate empathy and to ask very strategic questions mm -hmm. of their clients. So every client has unique um, uh, needs and really the role of the advisor is to understand those needs and present options. No different than walking out into a dress floor and seeing yellow, pink, blue, and all various cuts. Our role is to provide a slew of different options that um, cater to that client's needs and then help them through that decision-making process similar to a fitting room. <laughs> I like that. So. The most important question is, where do you see the opportunity? Because for you to shift careers like that, mm -hmm. you must have done an analysis to see that indeed the travel retail side is growing. Mm -hmm. Yes? Absolutely. What do you see? Uh, so so uh, A, to your point, the uh, retail side is absolutely growing. And I believe that the power of the advisor continues to grow. So not only from a sales side is retail performing exceptionally well, particularly within luxury across right. all categories, by yeah. the way, but we see the um, advisor becoming more and more important. It's interesting, the competitive threats between retail and travel are very similar as it relates to digital. Um, digital's weakness is also very similar in the sense that yeah. it is not empathetic. You're dealing with algorithms. What a great point you made. See, empathy is a great word. I always hear people talk about, you know, it's not personal. But of course, the, the empathy is really, that's the key, isn't it? It is absolutely like the key. That. You know, when, when people have very limited time, they want to understand that the travel experience, I mean, this is an investment and you can't get that time back. So people want to understand that they're getting value, that they uh, are experiencing something that you know, meets their needs and that is customized to them. There are no quote unquote returns in travel. So right. the, the value of right. the advisor is that much more uh, yeah. um, um, relevant. That's a great point. Um, let me ask you about the Avenue Road location. Yes. What are you going to, what are the plans for it? So Avenue Road. So first of all, um, the business is booming. We've got a phenomenal team of ICs yes. there. Yeah. And uh, we recently announced that we, we are relocating uh, within the city of Toronto. So uh, as the industry evolves and as many industries evolve, um, they're exploring more and more shared workspaces. And the mm -hmm. beauty of that is it allows us to provide our ICs with flexibility to choose where they would like to work and how how they would like to work. In the city of Toronto, we have a headquarters at Young and Queen. We're, we're, we're enabling our ICs to work from that location. We're also providing them with the flexibility to work from other locations or work remotely. What this also allows us to do is um, Travel Edge is growing by leaps and bounds and this allows us to flex into different markets right. where we haven't had presence before. So I yes, see. we are relocating from Avenue Road. We are also re-engineering the model to, to meet the needs of our ICs moving forward. Now, new advisors that are joining Travel Edge, yes. presumably they have a book of business that they're bringing yes. into the fold, but where are we gonna get the new blood? I mean, that is, that is honestly, that is the biggest challenge that we have in the industry. Mm -hmm. we, we need young, well, you're young, so mm -hmm. I'm glad you've joined, but um, we, need, we need advisors who are young. 
That's right. And so uh, I think there are a couple of things. One, our focus is working with our existing network to really remove any barriers and allow them to, as I mentioned earlier, do what they do best, which is engage with their clients. Uh, second uh, is reaching out and tapping into new networks. So social media, you know, there's a lot uh, obviously happening mm -hmm. within social media. I think there's an opportunity to take Instagram um, and leverage, uh, leverage it a little bit differently. Instagram has been very much about communicating with clients. Right. I don't know that the industry has done a great job of communicating with influencers around joining the industry. No. So the B2C has happened. I'm not so sure that the B2B has been as effective as it could be. I love all this. I love it. You have to well, come back you. and talk I, to I, me I more. Would, I would be thrilled to come back. <laughs> this has been great. I'm so thrilled to spend no, time with you. No, no, they're very, very interesting. And um, since you've only been there four months, I imagine in another four to six months, you'll, you'll have a lot more to share with us. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Thanks, Michael. Thank you so much.